January we saw the ankle. Could you just take us through that? Or, you know, if, if it's similar to anything you've had before and how you handle it tonight, how you can handle it before? Yeah, I mean, I've turned my ankles before, obviously. Um, you know, tonight was just one of those instances. I actually, I literally just watched the replay where I was going in for an offensive rebound and me and Jackson basically uh, stepped at the same time. He got his foot on the ground um, before I could get my foot back on the hardwood and I stepped on his foot and rolled my ankle. Um, I mean, I have no idea how I finished the game, to be honest, after watching that replay. It's pretty nasty. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible right now. And uh, unfortunately, we're about to hop on a flight too. So, um, you know, just got to get treatment around the clock, see what happens day to day, but it's pretty sore right now. How do you just put that in the context with tonight, all the holiday season that's coming? I mean, it's just a microcosm of our season, you know, sustain. Uh, we haven't been able to sustain all year, and tonight was one of those instances once again. Ah, uh, well, I mean, if I'm healthy, for sure. Um, you know, and, you know, right now, obviously, I'm, you know, pretty banged up, um, you know, with that with that ankle. But, um, you know, I still feel like if I'm on the floor and I can make things happen, then we still got a good chance of trying to make something out of the season. It's been a tough road, obviously. Um, tonight being a tough loss for us. Um, but to have that confidence in your teammates, for sure, means a lot for me. It means I'm, you know, doing something well on the floor when I hit the floor and just try to do whatever I can to help us win basketball games. So, you know, you have all that you gave tonight, obviously playing through um, injury and playing as well as you did, building the lead you guys did, and just looking out of here with a loss. Just what does that feel like kind of in the context of the season? And um, it feels like shit. I mean, excuse my language, but that's what it feels like. You know, I came in with the mindset, understanding it was a playoff type, uh, it was gonna be playoff type atmosphere, playoff implications, and things of that nature. So, you know, um, you know, I knew that from the jump. Um, we also got a lot of guys on our ball club that haven't played in playoff games as well. That plays a lot of big minutes for us. You know, you have Malik and you know Winyan, Austin, um, Stan. You know, who um, you know Taylor is pretty much not you know not accustomed to it as well. So. Um, you know, we're trying to bottle that in and try to help the young guys understand how, you know, the magnitude of it. And um, they got guys who've been in the postseason. Um, but, um, you know, it feels like a wasted opportunity, um, obviously, uh, for myself and for our team. And we want to get it done. You talked about all those stakes and then also the team right now. Would you have played, would this something you would have played through if this was just felt more like 1 of 82? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I mean, from the time that I turned my ankle, I felt a, a sharp pain run on my leg. It started getting hot, and I've been there before with, with ankle sprains before. So, um, but I wasn't. I didn't want to come out of the game because I understood. I mean, I just wanted to win the game. I understood how big of a game it was for us. LeBron, I guess. You guys have shown it flashed. I mean, like you're up 23 in this game. You're hitting shots. The balls have been around. Face on both sides. But like you guys are also the same team that can score 14 in the fourth quarter. Uh, what's it been like processing that sort of those, those wild swings? And kind of what this team has been all year. It's just exhausting. To, to kind of I mean, I, I mean, we just we are who we are. I mean, there's no. Um, it's not much of a process, and when you, you know, you know, you can go out and score thirty-five in a quarter, forty in a quarter, um, and hold the team eighteen in a quarter. But then you also know that you can give up forty in a quarter in the same game. You know, so um, yeah, it's frustrating, obviously. But I mean, we are who we are, and it's not. It's not like you know, trying to. 
figure out some more than that. Ron, schematically, how much do you feel like your ankle affected the game plan, what you guys intended to come in doing, um, what you guys were able to do in the second half? I mean, obviously, it seemed like you had a lot of discomfort and, and what was sort of well, for me personally, I just lost all the explosiveness, obviously. Um, so a lot of my game tonight was played on the perimeter after that fact. Um, you know, couldn't really, you know, get into the lane like I would have loved to. Put a little bit more pressure on them. I mean, we only shot 16 free throws as a team. Um, I mean, I shot six of them. One of them was a technical foul. So um, that took away from me, um, from, from what I wanted to do in the interior. But, you know, I feel like I just, you know, try to do what I could do, you know, with the mobility that I had on the floor. Trying to make plays. LeBron, I feel like just been kind of dancing around this. Do you feel like this ankle injury is something that could cost you games? I hope not. Shit. Um, I hope not because I don't I hate missing games. That's just not in my nature. So um, I've already started the process, um, you know, of, of treatment right after the game. I got on it right away. And obviously, um, we'll get more done on the flight. We land in Dallas tonight uh, around o'clock tomorrow. Um, and see how I feel on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, correct? <clears throat> and go from there. So um, I hate missing games. That's just, it's not in my makeup. Um, you kind of alluded to this with just sort of the difference in the experience on your team when you guys are playing a bunch of guys who have that this before. Does everybody kind of understand the stakes you think of the way that you do right now? Do right now I do? It's impossible. Everybody? I mean, I've been in 10 finals. I mean, it's impossible. I guess, but I mean, like, like, <laughs> no, it's impossible. That's a fair point. Yeah, it's impossible. I mean, we have guys that, that understand it. I mean, we have a bunch of vets as well. Um, you know, I, I believe myself, you know, Russ, Mello, you know, um, you know, AD, and we're, you know, he understands it, but he's not in uniform. Um, you know, Dwight, he's been through the trenches. Um, you know, but a lot of our other vets aren't playing. Wayne's not playing. Trevor's not playing. Bays is not playing. Um, they understand it, but they're not playing. Um, so, you know, it's just uh, it's, it's tough. Uh, it's tough, and you know, having a, you know we have a bunch of newcomers that's you know helping us out tremendously on the floor because we need it. You know, but as far as the experience, you know, with all of us, we haven't had enough. Haven't had enough, and a lot of guys haven't had enough individually as well. Yeah.